second. Who killed some Bigfoot? Did, 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 what's this guy? Well, I mean, you know, I travel a lot, so, right. uh, you know, and I, I don't listen to music when I'm traveling because right. I would hate to inadvertently you know, rip somebody's music off while I'm trying to write. Right. I'm like, man, I got this great idea. Oh, it sounds just, oh, damn. So I, I listen to a lot of podcasts. Right. And uh, well, I got into a, a Coast to Coast AM kick with the guys, and uh, we came across a podcast with a, what was his name? Art Bell. Uh -huh. uh, the Art Bell, Coast to Coast AM. With right. uh, Art Bell with Bugs, like, like Bugs Bunny. And it's an interview of a guy. And I believe this guy. You know, it's really? like, you know, I mean, I read people for a living. I mean, not to say I'm great at it or anything, but this guy's very believable. And he says he killed two Bigfoot and uh, buried them with his friends in the 70s. And, uh, they gonna he didn't, go dig him up. And it, well, he 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 wrote he drew a map, but uh, the the Art Bell passed away now. He sent him a map to it because he said he was getting old and he wanted you know it's, it's been weighing on his conscience. But he never turned it in because he didn't know if they were people or if he'd get in trouble for it or go to prison. But it you should check it out if you're into Bigfoot. It's the most believable story. Really? Oh, it's the most believable story you'll ever hear. Have you seen um, the new? Um Oh, unsolved mysteries. The the the, the paranormal investigators on that. The par uh, paranormal rangers. Yeah. Scotty, you got to see this. Uh, these are Navajo. You know, well, I don't know if they're Navajo Indian reservation uh, rangers. And um, man, I, I I've always been eighty percent. There's been twenty percent of me on the Bigfoot thing. After I saw that, I was like, okay, Bigfoot's real. If you travel as much as we do, yeah, there's no way that it. Just you could just say without a doubt it's not. There's so much just open territory. I know. That, man. I mean, it's like when, it, like you go out in the up towards Idaho, right? Which, by the way, is one of the most beautiful states you never hear about. Literally, unbelievably beautiful. The Snake River. Is there a lot of what's what's the population like there? There's not many people live in Idaho, does it? Doesn't seem like it when you're driving through it. I, I mean, wonder why though. Because they keep it a secret. It's like Utah. I mean. You don't hear about the beautiful mountains of Utah that often. You know, you no, hear about you Colorado and stuff like that. I mean, but Idaho is unbelievably beautiful, and so is Utah. I mean, I remember getting out at a Walmart the first time I was there at a Walmart. I got out, of, I looked up, like, holy shit, this is beautiful. In the, really? Just standing in the parking lot of the Walmart, the mountain range in the back and everything. I wonder why more in, in industry, they probably have that as national parks up there where you can't move industry well, in. Well, if I lived there, I wouldn't want them to say it. Right. Like, keep this shit a secret. Yeah, because um, is there a lot of Navajo, or, or not Navajo, but Indian Nation up there in that area? Absolutely. That's their territory. Absolutely. You know, it's like. That we set aside for the Indians and stuff. Well, I don't know how, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know how it works, but. I know that there's a well, lot of man, it's just, a lot of nations up in the area across that right. area from North Dakota, South Dakota, all the way across, right, and down. It's a uh, it, the United States is weird. It's like um, they do keep things secret, though, don't they? Like there's a lot of waterfalls like south of um, Nashville that nobody really knows about. If you look it up on the internet, you know you can find them. But man, they're out in the middle. I mean, you got to walk through some woods to get there. Well, you know, we, we uh, when we travel, you know, <coughs> sorry, sorry. being you know doing what I do, you have to to actually keep doing it. You have to enjoy the journey, not just the destination. Right. So we we make the most of the traveling. We do a lot of camping, and you know, and going to see sites and such like that. You know, when I was with Save and Able, those guys they'd done it so long, even before I got there that they were pretty burnt out on stuff. So they're like, ah, well, well, I'm not like that at all. Me and Steven and my new guys especially, you know, it's like right. we get out, we're like, hey, it's only like 100 miles out of the way. Let's go see this, you know. Right. And I'm constantly Googling things and, you know, I want to see everything.